Bernoulli's equation, under certain assumptions, combined with the law of conservation of mass, mathematically proves the following. As the cross-sectional area of a pipe is constricted, or becomes smaller, the velocity of the fluid within will increase. The Venturi effect states that as the velocity increases, in order to maintain constant energy, the pressure within the pipe must decrease. The Vena contracted concept is similar in that as a fluid flows through an orifice, the cross-sectional area of the moving fluid is also constricted, causing turbulent flow before resettling later on. Brass and woodwind instruments model both of these concepts. Players take air into the lungs and expel it through their lips, creating vibrations and creating a sound we call the buzz. These are typical mouthpieces, which resemble what we saw in the Venturi effect model. A closer look shows us how air travels through the oral cavity and is sent through a pipe of much smaller diameter. Mouthpieces of all different depths and diameters are used for different instruments and to accommodate for varying skill levels. Typically, more mature musicians have deeper mouthpieces since they are able to manipulate their airstream and lips with more skill. The Venna contracted concept is similarly applied to woodwind instruments like the clarinet and saxophone. By applying pressure from the mouth onto the mouthpiece, the passageway of air is severely constricted and turbulence within the mouthpiece is created. This causes the reed to vibrate, which generates the sound we hear. Players need to use their air efficiently. If the air isn't directed directly through the mouthpiece, turbulence and stagnation can occur. As you can see, a considerable amount of turbulence is created when the water is angled downward instead of straight through the mouthpiece. Turbulence can also be caused by puffing of the cheeks. This is most common in young wind players, however it is incredibly inefficient, and they are trained to play as seen here. The shape of the tubing throughout the instrument also has a huge effect on the tone of the sound. Some instruments are conical in that the diameter of the tube gradually increases until the bell flares. This causes the air to gradually slow down as it flows, creating a darker, more mellow sound. Other instruments are cylindrical, in which the diameter of the tubing is consistent throughout, therefore the air does not lose velocity, creating a brighter sound.